What I'm going to do today is a missing symbol type problem. So in this video, I'm going to do it by logic and intuition. There's another video and I'm going to do exactly the same problem. But that way I'm going to use equations, a kind of number crunching method. So in the weekend edition of the I newspaper, there's a big pull out section for puzzles. Right, good morning. All we've got here is a Mensa brain tease, a Mensa puzzle. And what we have to do is find out um, which symbol should replace both question marks. So these question marks down here. Okay. Um, now, what it is, you've obviously got a grid here and you've got columns and lines of symbols. Now, they didn't need to use symbols. They could have just used letters. And each symbol, you've got an at symbol, a hash symbol and a dollar symbol. So there's three different symbols here. Each one of those symbols represents a number. And as it happens, it's a two digit number between 10 and 99. Sorry about the big pen. Now I've got, uh, I've got arthritis in my hands, you see, so I can't hold a little pen. <laughs> so we have to find out which of these symbols, an at sign, a dash sign, or a dollar sign, should replace this question mark. So we have to work out the values. Now in this video, I'll show you how to solve for it by logic, but just sort of like thinking it through, trying to think through the best way of actually getting on and doing this. In another video, which I'm going to post at the same time, I'll show you how to do it with equations. Now, the logic way is kind of easier if you can see how to how to go about it. If you can look at it and stare at it and sit and ponder it and you can go oh that's that would do it and to some extent these puzzles are sort of like set up by the compilers the people who actually produce the puzzles so that you can do it that way to make it easier now in a second video i'll show you the number crunching way by using equations okay so you can set up um little equations to do that do it and that way it's always going to work if you know what you're doing you just go through the process and it'll always work okay and then that way you learn something about um, other real world problems as well handy for gcse maths i would have thought to make life easier i'm actually going to replace i'm going to replace the at symbol with an a the dollar symbol with a D and the hash symbol with an H. So I was actually going to do this just for the just for the sake of doing this puzzle. That's the way I would do it. I would jot it all down on paper, and I really really have the greatest difficulty <laughs> in writing down these symbols. I would just use A, D, and H. You know, as long as I know what they represent, is good enough. Now, how do we work this out? What are we going to do? Now, I'll show you what you're given. You've got this column, 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 column. A uh, column, so you've got an at, a hash, an at and a hash equals 160. So you add them up, okay? So it doesn't actually tell you to add them up, but that's what you got to do. You've got another column here. You've got an at plus a dollar plus a hash plus another dollar. It's 120. And you've got a hash plus a dollar plus an at plus another at. It's 135. And that's the three bits of information that you're given. So you've got to find the values for the at and the hash and the dollar. Now the first column down says, okay, so an A plus an H, plus an A plus an H equals 160. More compactly, 2A plus 2H equals 160. If 2A plus 2H equals 160, then you've got the A plus H equals 80. Maybe you can follow that. Now the second column down says that A plus D plus H plus D equals 120, or more compactly, so an A plus an H plus 2D equals 120. We can subtract these equations. So if you've got this, this second equation down, a plus h plus 2d, and then the one that we worked out, which was half of this one, which is a plus h equals 80, you subtract them. If you actually work them out, you've got an a minus an a, and then you've got an h minus an h, and then you're just left with a 2d on this, on the left hand side. And on the right hand side, you've got 120 minus 80, which is 40. So you're just left with 2D equals 40. So D equals 20. So the dollar equals 20. Now we've got one row, this one, 
which says h plus d plus 2a equals 135. Now we just worked out on the last slide that d equals 20. So we take 20 from this side, from the right hand side, but we take the d away from the left hand side. So we're left with, on the left, h plus 2a. And then on the right, we're left with 135 minus 20, which is 115. Now, from this equation that we've just got, we take away h plus a on the left and 80 on the right. This is the equation that we, that we found first. So take away h plus a on the left, we're left with a, and we take 80 away from the right, so we're left with 35. So you're just left with a equals 35. Now, if a equals 35, and then go back to h plus a equals 80, then take a from that side to 35 from this side, you're just left with h equals 45. h must be 45. And then you've got the punchline line. Okay, so you've got h plus d plus question mark plus question mark is 155. So I'll write that down as h plus d plus two question marks equals 155. Now, we know that h is 45. We know that d is 20. So those together is 65. So you've basically got 65 plus two question marks equals 155. But if you take away the 65 from this side, you're just left with two question marks. And you take away the 65 from the right, you're left with 90. So if two question marks equals 90, one question mark equals 45. So which symbol is equal to 45? Okay, A, D or H. So we just found that H is 45. Okay. So that's your answer. The question mark is 45. Ta -da! Okay, just a note here. These symbols, you might wonder what these are doing, because you've got these columns, haven't you? And they add up to 160, 120. And this row adds up to 135, so that's doing something. And then this is like your punchline, you know, what, what, what have you got to do, you know, you're given 155, so what are these two question marks? So what do these symbols do? Well, they don't do anything. They're red herrings, okay? This is a Mensa Brain Teaser. So you can get it from Mensa.org. Okay, you can get a lot of these from Mensa.org. And you can join Mensa.org as, as a member and uh, get to talk to like-minded people. So what's the point in all this? Um, what's the point in doing puzzles? Well, it's a little bit of exercise, isn't it? It's like um, it's, it's like going for a jog. You go for a jog, you get some exercise, you get a bit of a buzz afterwards, you've got a sense of achievement. Um, if you do puzzles, if you do this sort of brain teasers, you get a little bit of a sense of achievement, you get a little bit of a buzz afterwards. It's, it's, keeps you going good for your mental health okay it's, it's, it's a sort of mindfulness if you if your mind's on this and you work it out and you spend half an hour on it you're not thinking about anything else okay gives you it makes your mind work but it gives you a little bit of respite from other things so if you like my videos please subscribe thanks very much